Okay, I just spent the past day playing the PlayStation 2 version of Max Payne, and I can say this, it was a pain in the ass. The gameplay was so sketchy, it reminded me of something G4's Adam Sessler said about the shooting gameplay for Final Fantasy VII Dirge of Cerberus. It's a trip through the nine circles of what the fuck you facing that way, turn around you idiot gaming hell. Among other well-worded comments in the same review that seemed to fit Max Payne. I mean, it was like a Frank Miller nightmare. Every couple of seconds, a freaking graphic novel cutscene. This is definitely not one of Rockstar's best work. There are absolutely no memorable levels throughout the game at all. And there's about five different baddies throughout the entire thing. The funny thing is, they all share one of two death screams. And holy hell, you can die quick in this game. One guy can kill you if you're not careful. I can honestly say I was not drunk enough to play Max Payne. Okay. There are some junkies strung out on this Valkyr stuff. Oh yeah, there are a lot of Viking references in here. I think to actually enjoy playing Max Payne, you'd have to take major doses of that Valkyr stuff. I mean, I've heard of run and gun tactics, but this is ridiculous. If for some reason, some god awful reason you think, Oh, why are you hating on Max Payne? This game is awesome. I can totally pwn at that game. Yeah. You know what? So can any one-eyed, drugged-up, strung-out, paranoid, schizophrenic on crank. The shooting system is that retarded, you don't even have to aim and the guys die. Ironically, it's the same shooting system that makes this game only somewhat decent. Only somewhat. The reason for that being, after a while, you start to think, Thank God, this game will be over soon. And it doesn't end and you want to scream. So I turned to cheats for the game, and I thought, okay, this will make it go faster. It didn't. That invincibility code is absolute crap. You have to enter it like every five minutes. You don't even know if, if it deactivates until, boom, you're dead. The bullet dodge feature is really weird too. Only the actual gameplay slows. The audio doesn't. So you can slowly shoot some poor schmo in the head, and he'd still scream as if it wasn't slow-mo. I'm even sorry my dad had to pay the 4 dollars for the damn thing. They should have paid him to get it at the hell out of the store. My official review for this game, I give Max Payne a 1 out of 10.